A patient receives a 150 milligram injection of a drug every four hours. The graph shows the amount of FOT of the drug in the bloodstream after T hours. Find the limit of FOT as T approaches 12 from the left hand side and as T approaches from the right hand side. And so a good indication of to remember which side is which side, we put L minus, which means left hand side is negative, which is stands for LN, and R positive, which means RP, right hand side is positive. And that's a good mnemonic to remember which side is which. So let's take a over look over this limit. So as 12 approaches from the left hand side, and so we need to see what where this function is going. So this function is going to 4. And so this function doesn't even matter. So we don't even have to worry about this. This this function don't matter. It should is a good indication for the graph, right? To know to know what the process is. So now let's take a look right here. That's 8. This is 12. So this is the one that we needed to approach. And so the way to look at this, we need to go from this side. You see where um, you had to follow me? What what function we're looking at? What curve? So now we're going to go down. And then we go this way. And it appears Oops. It appears that we're meeting at the this specific point 12. It's a closed interval, and so a good way to indicate that, remember what I said, we draw little lines. And so the limit appears to be approaching 150. You already got that? And it's going to be 150 what? Milligrams. Right? And that's what we're looking at, milligrams. And the limit of the function of T as it approaches 12 from Remember what this means. If you forget, you just take a look over here. It's a good way. Good thing to always do is always write it out. So we wrote it out. So that's our right hand side. So right hand side it's gonna be going which way? Well you guessed it, the right hand side, right? So as T is going closer and closer to twelve for a function, where is it gonna be heading to? So we had to follow this. Oops, let me keep it like that. So we're gonna be on this function, right? Because this function, this function doesn't matter. This one's 16. This function right here is 16. And it's really easy to mess up these kind of problems. So always draw these little dotted lines. And so this approaches 300, right? So this approaches 16. But we don't stay on 16 forever. So we're going on the right hand side. Boom, 12. And so this approaches the same thing, right? 12 approaches, has this little li dotted line that goes up from this closed interval to this open interval of 300. And so it appears that our limit approaches 300. So always write it out. And always to always do what I just said, draw these little dotted lines because you could really mess up these problems. And let's take a look at our next part of the problem. So this is part eight of our problem. Part B says explain the significance. So what's happening here is the patient's dose of the drug is diluting in his bloodstream, his or her bloodstream. However, since we inject every four hours before the doses can leave the blood system, the patient's blood shows high doses of the drug. And so T stands for time, right? So if we were to take a look at our graph right here, if we were to let this person's um, whatever drug they're taking dilute and go all the way down, then it will approach zero. But we're giving this patient drugs every four hours, therefore they're um, their drug intake is going increasing up, right? And so that that's a pretty bad indication because you could overdose if you um, take too much of whatever drug you're taking. 
And so that's why you need to let the drug go out through your blood blood system. And so you, if you're here to take a look right here, you can see that clearly you can see that the drug doubles in in the matter of eight hours, right? So it took only eight hours for the blood for the drug to stay in his system or his or her system and double. So it's a good thing in real life to always to take a look at these kind of example or problems because now you know that you need to not give your give your patient too much drugs so that's about it for this problem I mean there's a lot of different ways that you could explain the significance for this I just wanted to show a real life example and how you can mess up these problems up because these are one problems you can mess up easy and if you like this this way I'm teaching and how I'm doing things please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot it will help me channel grow and thank you guys and I hope to see you guys next time bye